Oh, another year, another video. Although I gotta be honest to you, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make one because my collecting has really taken a dive since uh, last year, uh, especially when it comes to Transformers. Uh, basically, what I, I'm just kind of, I don't know, I won't say I'm done with collecting, but I've narrowed my collecting down significantly. And as a result, my collection has gone down significantly and also grown in some areas. Um, but essentially, when it comes to Transformers, I've only I've decided to only collect on-screen Sunbow. So that's about it. And even then, I'm not really going for any of the niche characters. So in saying that, you know, I've pretty much finished the collection almost. There's very few characters that I'm missing. And a good chunk of those characters, I don't really care to get. Like the Throttlebots, for example. Um, but in saying that, all the same, I will uh, go on with the video and hopefully you enjoy it. And I think near the end, I'll, I'll talk about that third shelf, which is all non-Transformer stuff. So if you want, you could stick around in the end. And before I even begin, I'd like to just say thank you to absolutely everybody who's watched this video and my previous videos. I'm absolutely shocked as to how many views there are on it. I figured maybe a, a couple hundred views if I was lucky. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm very thankful for the fact that so many people have given me that much time. And uh, again, grateful and thank thankful. And uh, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Uh, but like I said, not much has changed since last year. So I don't know how much there is to show. Uh, again, here we've got Trypticon. And uh, I've got a couple guns put up there. You know, the Target Master. And those guns, I think, came with a combiner set but i forget which one uh probably one of the ko's i bought many years ago Rawr. and uh here we got brunt with a couple of uh, mp guns that came with megatron and shockwave uh, i sold those off a long time ago and uh back in 2020 at the start of my video i was trying to say that when i sell my old figures which i do often like for for when they got replaced i would often sell them dirt cheap but I would keep the guns as a result in selling them really, really cheap. And of course, I'm upfront about that. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of extra guns here and there kicking about, most of which aren't being used anymore though. Uh, let's see here, Black Ricci and uh, Fast Track. And then we got Scorponok up here. And as I mentioned last year, uh, I got the DNA kits for him, all three, but I've yet to actually install the knees on him. They've just been sitting around, but I do have it. Uh, let's see here, here we've got Metroplex and his crew. Uh, happy to have that finished up with. And moving up, my only regret and it was uh, not finding the articulated hands for for Metroplex. It's way too expensive now because you know they don't make them anymore. But it would have been nice to get my hands on those when they were retail price. Nothing more than that though. Uh, here we got Cog and Fort Max, exact same as last year and the year before. If anything, you'll probably notice. I think. I don't really change any of these guys' poses, so, you know, again, not much has changed on these shelves at all. Uh, here we've got the Season 1 Sunbow crew, and uh, the only major difference is I got uh, Slag right there. Really looking forward to getting the rest of those Dinobots. I think that's one of the few that I'm really aiming to purchase in the next while that comes up. I already got my uh, Slug uh, pre-order in and everything, so just waiting on that release. Um... In the same time, if you haven't noticed, I'll point them out. I got these little uh, Jada G.I. Joe minifigures. And, uh, yeah, I think these guys really suit these uh, the Chug Transformer as well. Adds that little extra to the shelf, you know? And so, yeah, there we go. There's my Season 1. Pretty much all the characters as far as I know. Um, but, yeah, I don't see myself replacing any of these guys. I I'm content with that, notwithstanding the Dinobots in the back. Going down, we've got Season 2, 3, Movie, and uh, not much has changed on this one. I did replace the uh, Sound Blaster back there, or rather, Blaster. Is it Black? Yeah, Blaster. Sound Blaster is a black uh, sound wave. And uh, changed my Perceptor out with a new version. Um, I don't think I've gotten anything else really new on the shelf. I got rid of my Junkions in favor of the SS86 version, and I do have a pre-order in on the... New Junkie on that's going to come out. I think it's Scrap Heat, maybe. I forgot which one is being released. And again, we got the G.I. Joe Jada minifigures. I actually bought two packs. One was the six packs that initially came out. But then they came out with another one that I think I had 24 figures with some doubles. So 
That's why I got some of the doubles there. And now moving down, excuse me, as I just take a seat, it's gonna be a lot easier that way. Moving down, we've got the combiner shelf, I guess. Um, so they're gonna replace their combiners. That That's a given. They already started doing that with Menasaur. He's not fully released at this time while I'm filming. Um, but I do not see myself replacing these guys because it's expensive. It's really, really gonna be expensive just for these three alone. But you know, there's more than just three. So I'm going ahead and replacing Menasaur, but mm, I think the rest I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Is I really don't want to dump money into just replacing something I already have, and I'm good with the way they are, you know. Uh, moving across, uh, some more random characters. Uh, I'm also keeping like the extra combiner characters that was made during the CW, like uh, uh, Rook there, and uh, I guess the weird looking Groove, and uh, um, what else do we have here? I think that's. Alpha Bravo, yeah, it was Alpha Alpha Bravo and uh, Slash, and I highly recommend this Slash, which is an oversized KO by Black Mamba. If you can get your hands on that, well worth the price, and it's just a really good figure. You see, he's standing. Actually, for some reason, in my previous videos, I kept on saying Core Class stands in, and I was being dumb. Um, it's not really. He, she's standing in closer to the modern day. Smaller deluxe, I guess you can call them. Once upon a time, these were legends, but I see a little taller and everything. Again, well worth getting that one. I would re highly recommend that. And uh, one last note too, green light. What's up with her price? It's so re just, just stupid. I can't believe how much she goes for online. And uh, I'm lucky I bought it at retail, but I feel sorry for those that really wanted her because I mean, there's nothing really special about her. And yet, it's so expensive. Um, I'm also considering replacing Sea Spray and Cosmos. I really like these two characters. So if they came out with new versions of that, I would maybe replace those two. Because I really like these two characters. Maybe even Beachcomber. But I wouldn't change my Swerve. Nor would I change my MFT gears right here. I'm very content with those. No need to spend uh, money on that. And then moving down... Another shelf, we got the Headmasters, and just like every other video I've made, I still have the oversized KO of those Headmasters for the Autobots and Decepticons. Will not replace those, I really like that size and everything, and as you can see, they stand in that basically Voyager size. And uh, here's crossovers, we've got the Ectotron, the first version, uh, with Slimer on his shoulder, uh, Gigawatt, and Maverick. A lot of people don't like that Maverick figure, and I can see why it's weird, but at the same time, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of got used to it, and I kind of like it. Kind of Robotech in its design, but uh, ultimately, yeah, I don't mind having it on the shelf, and uh, yeah, it just fills out the '80s retro whatever vibe, if you will. But overall, it's not that bad of a figure, and I would actually recommend picking up if it's on like a clearance somewhere, assuming anywhere even has it at this point, because it's it's an old figure. Ah, uh, let's see here. Moving down the shelf, we've got. Some of the big boys, like Jetfire and Skylynx, and I really can't say how much I like that Skylynx. It's such a great Skylynx, just better than I could have expected them to have done. All the while, what they did was basically just what you would picture Skylynx to actually look like. It's it's not hard to come up with, but yeah, no, great job on that one. And um, here we have Omega Supreme. I actually had to bend his legs a bit and everything so he can fit down there. Didn't want them up top. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the Autobots that I have. Again, uh, when you when I cut down my collection to only Sunbow, which is what I like the most, really, it really cuts down the collection. And there's not much coming out that's just specifically Sunbow that I'm either willing to purchase because I'm replacing something or whatever. You know what I mean. Just really don't want to spend more on the same figures again and again. Um... Here's that DNA kit for Scorponaut that I was talking about. Just stored there until I get to it one day, if ever, at this point. Uh, that's the undersized KO of the Constructicons. Absolutely fantastic figure. Highly recommend getting it if you can. I used to have both the yellow one and uh, this one. Uh, but I got rid of the yellow one. Again, too excessive. I Cutting down on the amount of figures I had. And I'm uh, very satisfied with that one. Fits in well with Chug Collection. Next to that is my Unique Toys Predaking, and oh boy, 
I love this figure. It's kind of fiddly and whatever it may be, but I just love the way it looks. And that's as close as we're going to get for a chug size Predaking as opposed to the Titan size one, which I used to have. It was too big for my liking, so very happy to have that. And best of all is I got this thing for 200 Canadian shipped, and that was just uh, near the end of last year or maybe start of this year. So that's an amazing price for this uh, combiner. I decided to actually go online to see how much it was selling for after the fact. And yeah, I saved myself many, many hundreds apparently. So lucked out on there. And a big shout out to, you know what? I can't even remember who sold it to me. But if you're a, if you're a Transformer collector and you live in Canada, I highly suggest going to Cybertron.ca. Um, great website and resource. Lots of buy and sell sections. And uh, let's see here. Moving up a shelf, we've got Quintessons, just as I had previous, except um, I did make some replacement and I got rid of some Shark Decons. I actually thinned out the herd a bit as it was just really jam packed and uh, yeah, got rid of that. Also got rid of those little snake uh, transformers. I forgot their name. They're like purple ones. Um, but yeah, I got rid of those. Didn't, didn't really do anything for me. Um, I did replace my Unique Toys uh, Shark Decon in favor, or maybe it was MFT, I forgot which one, but I got the, the Hasbro SS86 version as my big Shark Decon there. Uh, he's going to be the, the leader of the sharks, if you will. I like that color combination and everything. For the most part, I like having official uh, figures now, but not necessary, but I, I do like to have official where possible if I prefer it. And of course, there you've got the uh, Quintesson sitting uh, back there. And uh, moving up a shelf, again, combiners again. Um, there's that empty slot for Menasaur for when he actually is fully released. Things are slow to release, and I guess that's one of my complaints too. Hasbro has just been terrible, just on all levels terrible. And yeah, that makes collecting a little frustrating. So I got to be honest, I really enjoy not looking up toy news and releases and stuff like that. And just not caring is... Is a breath of fresh air, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I do still look up stuff just to get an info on, on what's coming out and everything. But for the most part, I do enjoy not looking things up. It's it's nice. Um, but yeah, here we go. We got the oversized KOs, as I point out, every year. And we've got, you know, Snapdragon. And, uh, oh, with him, I actually bought two copies of him. One I found for really dirt cheap used. And I ended up selling it for even cheaper because I kept the guns, so now he's got like double guns on both, like his wings clipped there and uh, holding onto them. And I think that looks a lot better when it's symmetrical that way. Um, there's that snake that I was talking about where I got rid of all the purple ones, but I kept that red one, which came with the Nemesis Prime there. And like I said earlier, I'm collecting Sunbow only, and I got rid of mostly everything that's not Sunbow, but there are exceptions, like you saw with the crossovers. And uh, some of the combiner guys, like the Rook and uh, even the Cindersaur over here. So I am keeping some, not hard and fast rule, but, you know, for the most part, that's my criteria. I'm just not looking to buy more and more and more. Uh, moving up another shelf, and again, we'll start with the uh, Jada figures, except these, uh, uh, this is the Cobra figures. Uh, so Cobra Commander with the helmet there, Destro, and Serpentor, Baroness. Uh, Storm Shadow. And then the actual Transformers back here. We pretty much got like season two and three. Uh, with, you know, the Run Brothers. And uh, we got Sweeps and Swoop. Or is it Swoop? No. Swoop and Sweeps. And uh, Raid Makers up front right there. And the Cone Heads. And quick story on the Cone Heads. Canada, you know, this was an Amazon exclusive for the two pack. Canada never actually got their cone heads. Apparently, Amazon Canada refused the shipment, and all the pre-orders, every single one in Canada, was never fulfilled. And so the entirety of Canada is like, hey, where's the cone heads? And then all of a sudden, those rejected shipments of cone heads were sitting around in some warehouse for well over a year on some skid. Just tons and tons of cone heads, untouched, unused, unsold. And uh, eventually smaller stores. Uh, online retailers in Canada got their hands on them. Uh, specifically, Toy Snowman was one of them. Uh, I think DJ Collectibles, maybe? Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, no, the, the, um, there was quite a few all of a sudden that came up for sale. But the thing is, you had to be in the know on that. And 
again, Cybertron.ca, great website for Canadians uh, because it will put you in the know. So having known that, you know, I was able to get my pre-order in proper with uh, the proper people well ahead of time. And yeah, they came through and I got my Coneheads at retail as opposed to, you know, I think selling for like four to five hundred dollars online Canadian. And that's just ridiculous. That's a dumb price for two action figures. Uh, and then finally, I guess we move up to the final shelf, which is season one, two, three, I guess. It's kind of mixed of uh, Decepticons. Uh, you know, with your Nightbirds, the Seekers right there, Reflector. Um, I got rid of my kickback, so but that's because the new kickback is coming out. And Insecticons, just like the Dinobots, are some figures that I really would like to replace and get some really good versions of those, you know. Um, so I hope to get that. Um, and again, the tape army that I'm using are KO um, MPs. And up top, I got my Blitzwing order in. I actually got rid of my Blitzwing and Octane. Octane is another figure that I would be happy to replace. And I straight up just got rid of them in anticipation that one day Octane will release. And same thing with Blitzwing, to which Blitzwing was announced and is on pre-order. And I got my order in for it. Um, there's the Netflix Megatron, which is, again, I think the best Megatron uh, released for Chug. And I got that special sticker to hide the stickers. Or rather, the scars. And if not for the scars, it's the scars that only made it look bad. And I had to get that sticker. And without that sticker, it's not a great Megatron. But with it, fantastic. It's funny how Hasbro just loves to make their figures dirty when we just want clean robots for the most part. At least that's what I think the majority wants. I could be wrong. I'm not everybody, right? We all got our tastes. And uh, again, the little mini, mini G.I. Joe figures with a Cobra Trooper right there. Zartan, another Destro... Uh, another Cobra Commander, but the hooded version this time. Another Baroness, a Bat, and Firefly and Storm Shadow. All right, and I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the end of the Transformers collection right there. I don't know if I'll make another video next year because really there's not going to be much for me to update at all. There's just not. I, I've pretty much finished a collection, and at this point I just want to enjoy my collection and not have to think about, you know, buying more and replacing this or that or getting my 12th Optimus Prime ever or something like Just No, I'm just tired of that. So there we go. That's that. So um, I guess I could say you have yourself a nice day if all you were interested in uh, seeing was the Transformers. Um, but I'm going to show the rest of my toys. So if you want to stick around and watch that, that would be great. But if not... Thank you so much for your time. Again, I really appreciate the views. I really appreciate the comments. And I really hope that you enjoy taking, seeing a snippet of my life as it goes on, you know? Uh, again, really thankful for anyone and everyone who takes the time to watch these videos that I make. Uh, so moving on to the next collections, I guess we'll move over here as I always do. And I got the 2012 Playmates TMNT set. Got it for really dirt cheap, like 20 bucks locally. And uh, I really like the set. I loved Turtles growing up as a kid, but I've never been enough of a fan to want to collect lots of them. But this set, I really like. It really like, the price was perfect for me. $5 a figure, I got the four Turtles. I like them very much. Great set to have. Highly recommend it if you can find it for cheap. Uh, a couple of Batmobiles. Uh, I got my Death Star. And some Hot Wheels, uh, Star Wars. Uh, vehicles and uh, some Duff beer. By the way, that's actual real beer in there. And uh, I got it in Spain a very long time ago. It was just selling in a store just as regular beer. I actually drank it. Tastes a lot like a uh, lager, like Canadian lager, actually, surprisingly. Um, now, moving on to the next shelf. But before that, hey, Kiwi, say hello to everybody. You lazy little butt. Yeah, she's not moving. It's really hot today, and I got all the windows open. No AC going. I just want the fresh air. Um... Moving to the next shelf, we've got my Marvel Legends Symbiote Collection. And uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you may have noticed that I actually, you know, I got this here and I've got another that little, you know, Venom poster. I've got another one hanging up. I'm a Venom fan. Love Venom. I don't really collect comic books anymore. I used to a very long time ago. But uh, Venom and Symbiotes in general, my absolute favorite. And so I figured with the proceeds that I use from selling a whole... And yeah, I sold a lot of Transformers, by the way. Um, money used from that went to buying the Venom collection, as you see here. 
Uh, so really, it didn't cost me much. It was basically recycling my toys for more toys. Um, as you see, we got lots of the build figures. I even have a KO right back there. It's like an orange one. I really like it. It's uh, surprisingly good and dirt cheap too. Um, oh, and I kind of also lied to you. It's not all symbiotes because right here we've got three ladies that are not symbiotes at all. But I really like those um, character outfits. Don't really care anything for the three characters. I remember reading at least two of them. I don't know anything about that one right there. But I remember the Peter Parker clone and uh, the Spider Woman right there. And yeah, this is the outfits in general I really like. And it fits in well, I think. Um, what else was I going to say? So but yeah, I pretty much got all the symbiotes that have been released. The only thing I'm missing is the uh, release of... It was in like a convention exclusive of Punisher that's been venomized. But... That's way too expensive, like 300 bucks or something like that. I'm not about to buy that for that price. Um, they got the SDCC Venom back there. I haven't bothered opening it. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme with that blue and red highlights. But all the same, I bought them because I was able to find it in store at retail at the time. And by chance, too. Um, I also got the retro one, retro Spidey, and the package there that kind of came out recently. I haven't bothered opening it because I have this guy as well, which is... Same thing, essentially, just slightly different. Um, but yeah, uh, very much like the collection. Happy to have it. I actually ordered the uh, Null Venom uh, King in Black set that's going to be coming out at the end of this year. So happy to have that. I think Venom with wings is super cool looking. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the Venom collection. Very happy to have that. And uh, in the same time, too, I bought all these guys for the most part. I bought all these guys used online, um, so I got really good prices on them. I never, I never really paid above retail for anything on, on this collection, and I'm happy about that. And once again, happy that I used transform money, the transformer money, to fund them. Um, moving up, we've got the Star Wars collection. Now I've got a fickle relationship with Star Wars. Huge Star Wars fan, but I don't like what Disney has been doing with Star Wars, and I'll just leave it at that. There's no point in talking about it, but. Um, yeah, I, if you see my previous video, I showed a very small glimpse of my Star Wars collection, which was well, well over 100 figures, um, and vehicles and all sorts of stuff, and yeah, I just outright just got rid of everything and decided, you know, the thing I like most about Star Wars was the original trilogy, more specifically, I love the bad guys, um, and I also like KOTOR. And so I got KOTOR 1 and KOTOR 2 going on there to represent that sort of love from my end. And yeah, and I'm happy. I'm content. That's it. That's all I need for the my Star Wars collection. It is done. I actually have a George Lucas Stormtrooper that I've yet to open. I've had it for quite a while. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll open that and I'll put it on the shelf. But this collection is pretty much done. That's it. That's everything I need to love about Star Wars on one shelf. And just to give you an idea how neglected my toys are, you can actually see right here... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's just wrong, isn't it? My, my my collecting has really... I've... Not neglecting, but again, I'm just enjoying them. I'm not, I'm not caring as much as I used to. And I'm okay with that. Uh, and then moving up, we've got G.I. Joe Classified. And when it comes to G.I. Joe Classified, same thing with Star Wars. And I guess to some extent even Marvel... I like bad guys. I like. I think they look cool. They look cooler. They have the better vehicles. They have better looks. They have better everything. They should always be winning, but they don't because they're the bad guys. But except there are some exceptions with the uh, Storm Shadow right there being the Arctic Mission one, which Deke, if you ever watched that, he was kind of a good guy in that one. And, uh, and then we got uh, Snake Eyes there with Timber. So those are my exceptions on the, on the good guy front. But the rest, you know, as you see, we've got the Bats and the Red Ninja, uh, Regal Cobra Commander with a custom head, so that's more like the cartoon as opposed to what they gave us. Um, more Bats, Alley Vipers, Zartan, and Red Ninjas. And in the far back here, one of my Bats is playing the Fortnite Arcade. I don't really like Fortnite at all, but I got that little arcade machine for really cheap at great price, so hard to say no. Oh, excuse me. And then moving up another shelf, we got more uh, Cobra. And we got Baroness there, Major Blood, some Troopers, Alley Viper, more Troopers, more Alley Viper, Firefly, Destro, and Dead Center. We've got um, Supreme Cobra Commander. And again, another custom head on this one so that he has the uh, 
the, 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 the cloth mask face instead of the uh, helmet head that they gave us. I like that much more, and I think this looks great with the throne. But yeah, that rounds up my G.I. Joe collection, or rather Cobra. I actually have another couple more right here that, ha that I have yet to open. There's that George Lucas Trooper I said that I didn't open yet. And here we have a, a Trooper Officer and the actual legit-looking Storm Shadow as opposed to that Arctic Mission one. I just yet to open it. And next to that, we've got the Masterverse Battle Cat and Masterverse uh, Skeletor. Uh, when it comes to the Hitman, I'm not really a fan. Uh, I watched it as a kid and stuff. I liked it and everything. But at the end of the day, my biggest thing that I liked from that series was Battle Cat, Skeletor, and Panthor. That's it. Those are my favorite things. And so there's my Battle Cat, and there's my Skeletor. And when they release the Panthor, I'll get that. But outside of that, I don't have no interest in He-Man, really. I'm also not really enjoying what they're doing with that Netflix show, because that wasn't really He-Man. But again, I won't get into that, because that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I mean, there you go. There's my collection as it is now, one year later. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I actually tried making it several times, but mm, I don't know. It's just hard to, to, to just think of something new to say because, again, not much has changed outside of this shelf. And as you can see, it's not Transformers. But, hey, I'm okay with that. Diversity in my collection is something that I enjoy because Transformers by themselves was getting stale. And I should also point out that, you know... I collect these ones now because I've put a limit and that's my key to now collecting without being burnt out or just ticked off with everything that's going on. I've got my symbiotes and that's all I'm going to collect are symbiotes. Now as a result, I don't have to think about how many things I'm going to be buying that year because they barely ever release symbiotes. And when it comes to G.I. Joe, again, I'm only collecting Cobra. So I'm like buying half the line and even then I'm not going to be looking for exclusives at all. I don't want to touch that. I just want the easy to get, and that's it. I don't want to have to work to buy my toys. I already worked to get the money to buy the toys. I don't want to have to work to find them as well. So, there you go. Um, but yeah, I guess thank you very much for your time. And you have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye now.